Hi everybody, today I will show you how to make a Canva PDF fillable. So let's just begin. Alright, so first of all to create a Canva PDF, you have to log in into your Canva account. But if you don't have the Canva account, it is really easy to create. You can create it with the email or you can simply link your Gmail account. Okay. So how to create the PDF here. So for the PDF, I would actually like to go with a some kind of form here. So let's just write down form here. Now you can see this, we have a bunch of different forms and you can also go with the later here. So let's write down later. So you can go with A4 later, you can go with responsive later. So it simply depends on you, but I would actually go with form. So let's write down form again. And from here, let's just click on see all. Now you can see that we have the bunch of different templates of form here. So I simply go with this form here and let's just click on customize this template. Okay, so right now we only have the design of the form here. So this is not a fillable PDF at the moment. So you can simply customize the form here according to your need. But right now I just simply keep everything like this. All right, so now let's click on the share and click on the download. And we have to change the value here. To the PDF. Now let's click on the download. So this would actually download the form in the PDF format. All right. So now you can see this. We have this survey form, but the thing is, this form is actually not fillable at the moment. This is only the design of the form. So if I just click here on the address, on the email, or on the phone, you can see here we don't get anything here. So how can we make this form fillable? So we have to go to the website here. So let's just write down doc hub here. And you will be able to see doghub.com. Okay, so we have to go inside this. And as you can see this with the help of doc hub, we can actually edit, sign and share the PDF online. So now at the moment, I don't have any account. So let's click on the sign up and create the account here. So I would actually like to sign up with the Google. All right, so I have signed in in my doc hub account here. So now we have to import the document. So now let's just drag our PDF here. Okay, so we have imported our survey form inside the doc hub. So from here we can make this form fillable. Okay, so now let's just click here on the manage fields now you can see this we have the different options here so we have the option of the text field so if you want to add the text field you simply click here if you want to add the paragraph field you will click here and if you want to add the checkbox field you will simply click here and if you want to go with drop down field you will actually click here but the thing is for the drop down field you actually require the subscription of the doc hub pro and we also have the option of signature field initial fields and the date fields so at the moment, I would go with the text field. So let's click here. And I actually want to add the text field here on the name. So let's just zoom it in a bit. Okay, so I just put it here. All right. So we can change the size of our field from here. All right. And the similar way I can add the address so let's change the size here and in a similar way we can add the email and we also have the phone number so let's change the size from here and we also have the gender all right so let's just change the size here this will work fine now you can see this we have these questions so for these questions we actually use paragraph field so click here on the paragraph field and we have these fields now i can resize these fields here now you can see that this is looking really great here and the similar way i would add the paragraph field here and i will also add the paragraph field and the question three Alright, so we have added the text field and the paragraph fields here 
all right so now what you can do here i have to align this properly on the design okay so i think this will work fine and the similar way i would align this field let's just set the field for the email so let's change the size of the email as well okay so now just drag this and put this in a proper position let's just set the phone field here okay so this is looking fine and a similar way we will set the paragraph fields all right so this look fine so the paragraph field of question number three is looking okay so we don't have to change this okay so i have to set the gender field as well all right so now you can see this we have added the fields on our personal information and the questions as well so if i just click on the field here you will be able to see the different options here so the first thing is data key or field title so this is the title of our field title or the data key and you can also see this we have the add different text fields here so we also have the option of placeholder text so if you want to add the placeholder text you can simply add it from here and if you want to make our field multi-line you can also enable this option and we have this combed option and we also have this option of the required field so we have the character limit we have the border thickness and we have the background color so you can explore or play around with these values here but right now i won't be doing anything here so now let's just uh, click on the download here and i want to download this okay so this is actually the document the version would be the current version and we have the option to download or export into the computer drive classroom dropbox and one drive so now let's click on this on our computer all right so this has actually created our pdf fillable so now if i just click on the name here now you can see this i can fill up the detail same goes for the address email phone number and we can also write down anything in the question as well so let's try to write down anything here so i will simply write down my name here and i can simply save this so let's click on the save all right so this is okay but i think i have to change the name here so this would be document number two click on the save now you will be able to see we have created our form and we have our data inside it okay so you can see this we have the data inside it so this is how you can make a Canva pdf fillable so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel